Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be a help video for those who had problems with the texture projection from the tree trunk to the new topology. Pay attention to this process and you will have no problems. Uh, I am actually now on Blender 2.92, so this is pretty recent. The first step will be selecting our new topology and adding a new material. I have a new trunk material, a empty principal BSDF. We can now switch to the shading tab in the Blender window. From here I am going to make a new image texture inside our trunk material. So shift A, texture, image texture. I will connect this to the base color of my material. From here we can create a new texture, just click here on this button, I will name this trunk color. Here in the color tab you can select the image color fill, I will set this to white but this doesn't matter because we are going to project the textures. Everything looks fine, so I will hit OK. And now we have a new empty texture connected to our base color. Now you need to select first your high resolution model and then shift select your new topology model. Notice then when I first select my photogrammetry model here you can see that we have the original texture which is treetrunk.tiff and you can look to that texture here on the left side of the viewport. If we select this tree trunk you can see that everything is scattered around the model and if we select our trunk color you can see that this is just a white image okay so pay attention to what happens here inside the material view first select our photogrammetry model and you can see that we have this original material and then shift select to our new topology model as you can see, everything in here was switched with the new topology model material, okay, which is trunk. And this is very important, you need to select here in the material view our image node. This is highlighted in with a white outline. And now we can go to our render properties. In here you will switch from Eve to Cycles. Here near the bottom you can see the Bake tab. First select our Bake type. Combined is the default option. We're going down and select Diffuse. It is important to disable direct and indirect rays so we can just transfer, transfer the color channel of the texture. Check selected to active. This is important because 
from the first selected model you are projecting to your retopology model so selected to active now we are good to go just hit the bake button and wait now the texture is being baked in the background you can see at the bottom of your blender window that the texture bake is taking place and it is done now if we select our retopology model we can isolate it with the slash key on your keyboard and the texture is now transferred to this model and right here in the left bottom of the viewport you can see that now we have a nice usable texture the circular reference problem is just a selection order mistake so pay attention to your selection order and where you place your new image textures okay you need to make a new image textures texture inside your topology model okay not inside your photogrammetry model so now i want to take this a little bit further so i am going to select my topology model and right click and enable our smooth shading this is important beca because we are going to project our normal mapping to our simple model so we can have all those pretty details of our photogrammetry to our simple model so for to do that you have to enable shade smooth so we have a pretty nice smooth normal map the process is just the same we just need to create a new image texture so shift a texture image texture i'm going to add also a new normal map node then i'm going to connect my image texture color channel to our input color of the normal map and then output output of the normal map to my normal input of the principal psdf we now need to create a new image and we're going to call this trunk normal everything will be um, will be the same as the first image texture that we have created so hit ok but we need to switch the color space to linear now we can simply select first our photogrammetry model and then shift select again our simple retopology model you can see that reflected in the material window now you want to select this trunk normal image node not the trunk color but the trunk normal image node and we're going to our bake window and switch the bake type from diffuse to our normal everything is uh, already selected by default in this portion of the settings then selected to active is already checked so this is cool and now in here i don't want a infinite max distance we can just try and i can show you where the problems are so let's hit bake right here in the bottom you can see that our texture is baking and here we have the normal map in the bottom left of the window you can see that we have errors in our normal map as you can see we have a some cutout portion of the texture and this is because if you get close to your model you can see that the actual photogrammetry model is piercing outside the base topology mesh to fix that 
we are going to tweak some of the settings so in the max ray distance I'm going to put a 0.3 and I also want to extrude so inflate my the topology model a bit you're not going to see that reflected in your viewport but in when Blender does the calculation, it's going to inflate this topology model. This is going to fix the problem. So let's try now to recalculate again our normal map and see if that fixed the problem. I am going to switch also my device to from CPU to GPU compute, and I am going to try to bake this, to bake this again. First, select our photogrammetry model and then our root topology model and then hit bake. First, make sure we have selected our trunk normal image node and everything seems fine, so I'm going to hit, to hit bake. The GPU compute is going a little bit far faster, so I'm going to stick with that. And now, if we take a look right here in the bottom where we had the problem with the normal map, we can now see that everything is fine. So, this is a pretty good success. We can select our retopology model and hit slash on our keyboard and we can take a look at our result. In the end we are going to end up with a cool tree trunk texture with uh, details. If we take a look at the wireframe of this mesh, you can actually see that in reality our mesh is very very simple. This is a cool process and skill to have. Okay guys, for this tutorial will be all, let me know if you have questions, that will be all guys, we will see each other in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.